This video is aimed at slightly more seasoned cybersecurity professionals or other tech positions that have dealt with the pain of project management. There's a reason project manager is a job title. So I've partnered with Coursera to share their new Google Agile's Essentials course, focusing on how Agile methodologies, emphasizing the Scrum framework and Kanban boards, I probably said that wrong, can benefit cybersecurity professionals. I'm quitting, I'm going to quit. Maybe if you finally show some initiative at work to rework your processes of delivering service or products, you will get promoted. Now, some of you might know what the Agile manifesto is and Scrum framework and are potentially thinking it's strictly for software development. That's what I thought. And now it is true. That's where it started. Look how complicated how everything in tech and cybersecurity has gotten and is currently. Projects are a part of most teams implementing or creating anything. Certainly pertains more to security engineering or application security development teams, but still very useful to learn the ins and outs. You'll see how it can potentially benefit your approach to managing complicated ass tasks, implementations, security policies, configurations, all the things you do at work. Think of trying to become compliant in any one of the more well-known security standards like NIST, PCI DSS, SOC 2. You go through an audit, they find a bunch of stuff that you need to fix, a long laundry list of things you need to fix as part of a get to compliance project. How are you going to tackle it? Do it as fast as possible and not overwhelm the team. Think Agile, a Scrum framework or Kanban boards or some mutation of it all that speeds up your team by making it more efficient. Now, this course covers the basics, obviously, to get you started thinking like a proper project manager and finally apply some structure to the mess you call project management. Now I went through it before anybody says anything. I passed with flying colors. I learned some things, reconsidered a lot of uh, how I approach projects at my current job very inefficiently. It's slow. And it's not really that I'm slow, it's that there's just so much to do that it just like it's just a mess of stuff. Now unlike the traditional waterfall approach, Agile thrives in environments filled with volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. Exactly the environment that, let's face it, we all face in cybersecurity. Now the Agile methodology emphasizes flexibility, rapid iteration, and most importantly, responsiveness to change, making it ideal for building robust security solutions and resilient software. Think about all those times that you wanted to implement a security policy, but you couldn't do it exactly by the books. You encounter a problem. Exception, how do you account for exceptions? Well, you, you put in an exception and you go, you go about your day, but that exception turns into a bigger problem because you weren't expecting it and you gotta get approval to put in the exception. Anyways, the course covers Scrum, the most widely adopted Agile framework, can potentially streamline security engineering projects. In the Scrum framework, teams work in short, fixed cycles called sprints. It's typically two weeks, can be longer, can be a little shorter, but it allows for regular feedback all throughout the process. This means quicker development of security tools, faster identification and patching of vulnerabilities. And if you have it in place, it can enhance the adaptability and speed of how you react to emerging threats. Now, I'm not telling everybody to adopt the framework, but there can be multiple things that you're doing in your pipeline of how you get things done that could take a few pointers from this framework that could be improved by following a similar approach. Now, Scrum has three roles traditionally, the product owner, the Scrum master, and the development team. If you're thinking in terms of cybersecurity, think of your product owner as the advocate for the security requirements. They know exactly what needs to be done. Scrum master is the facilitator, removing roadblocks. When shit hits the fan, someone's gotta clean it up and fix the fan. Well, gentlemen, when the shit hits the fan, some guys run and some guys stay. And the development team as the security engineers, the people doing the work, the nitty gritty, but collaboratively all roles are building and refining the process to get to the ultimate goal of implementing the security solutions or the configurations or, or if it's a security product, spitting out the security product. There's a thing called the product backlog, which really is just a whole list of priorities that your team is ultimately trying to accomplish to reach the end goal. But it's ordered in such a way that allows you to align with priorities, which is the most important all the way down to which is the least important. So that ensures that you're addressing the most most important things first. Think of it as addressing the critical vulnerabilities versus the 
non-impactful informational ones. Kanban boards, I thought were neat. The idea behind it is to visually represent and manage continuing security tasks like application code reviews and vulnerability assessments. Kanban boards visually track the progress through to do, in progress, and done. Very simple, but effective. And it clearly gives you a immediate picture of what anybody's doing at any point what needs to be done and what has already been done. If you're a higher up or a boss, you're gonna appreciate the timeline and also knowing how quickly things have been done historically. It's also a way of tracking how quick you can actually realistically get things done with the team that you have. This helps reduce bottlenecks, roadblocks, something's not getting approved and it's just sitting there and nobody's noticing it because only one person is aware of the roadblock because it doesn't get communicated. Because you guys don't have a daily scrum implemented and you've been sitting on it for a week, call whatever you want. Daily stand up, that's a daily scrum. Now, if you embrace the agile methodology, eventually adopt scrum framework. There's also lean, XP, Maybe you go full out on Kanban. Whether you're engineering new security tools, hardening your software development lifecycle, or continuing reviewing and improving just general code security or security configuration somewhere, it's all about delivering the right security solutions faster and more efficiently. Now, if your boss sees that your team, say you are trying to approach management, notices your team is somehow way more effective at getting shit done than team two, three, and four, he might just come to you and say, hey, what's up, what's going on? And you'll reply, I implemented an agile framework, but I made it better my own way. And the only way to do that is to figure out what has been working for all these different teams who have implemented some form of project management. So why not study up on one of the most popular ones out there? Dude,